Hello everyone and welcome to today's SSJ at Home. Our video today is with one of my favorite people on the entire planet, a, a good friend of mine and a nice uh, wonderful co-worker who's always uh, um, just in the best of moods and uh, has really bad jokes. And he's also the Gordon Ramsay of uh, St. Simon and Jude and the one who cooks all of the scrumptious food that we eat wherever we eat it or gets the best donuts from whomever is close and open and cheap. Uh, so thank you, Gary, for being with us. Um, I, I don't know if I could have, uh, we could have uh, found a, a more appropriate person to be in charge of hospitality at St. Simon and Jude. And because you do it so well and you make others want to be hospitable as well. So thanks for being here. Now that I'm done talking, I'm going to let you talk some. Oh. Thank you, Jimmy. It's a pleasure to be here uh, with you today. And yes, I, I, I just love my job at St. Simon St. Jude. It, it is just, uh, I get so much pleasure and joy from, from it. And, and it's just, you know, just right up there with, with, with you know, I, I just love it. I do. I do. I love the people I work with. Um, you know, it's just very satisfying. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And I know that um, a lot of people uh, you that sort of feel that when they uh, when they come in contact with you. And, you know, I know that you have really sort of given a, uh, a turbo charge uh, to the uh, aftermath ministry. Uh, and it's something that's certainly needed in this time of, of COVID uh, to encourage other people to become involved in that ministry. Tell us um, how aftermath fellowship or ministries, um, how they benefit parishioners, and how people can become involved as a part of it. Yep. Well, you know, for the longest time, we did donuts and cookies and coffees and whatnot. And, uh, you know, at, at, at the height of it, before uh, COVID hit, we were ordering 50 dozen donuts and 600 cookies and it was just phenomenal. I had such a great team of people that, you know, after every mass and a rotation of people, and I can't thank them enough, uh, and, and, and it was great. Um, but yeah, we started it again, um, uh, which, which is fantastic. Uh, I just in the last couple of weeks, and, 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 and I'm gonna jump the gun here and say, you know, you you've probably seen those streamers out there on 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 the on the plaza and some more lighting because yes, I've started doing snacks as a to go. You know, because I can't have you know sit down dinners, you know, or like I used to and so forth, or donuts where I congregate people. So I've gotten tables uh, with snacks and waters to go, and. I am just so elated that all these people that are coming to Mass are now coming up to me and say, Gary, I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. People really want to help. And I'm so, it makes me so proud of our parishioners and, and, and of my after Mass hospitality people that used to hand out donuts. They're coming up and saying, Gary, I want to hand out snacks, you know, and so I'm just today I'm working on a Excel spreadsheet and punching in people's names for different mass times and different dates and so forth like that. I, it, it just warms my heart, you know, um, because and I, I, I have a little little sticky thing here that says, what can I do to become closer to Christ? And then it says, how can I help someone else? And so what I feel like I'm doing is that I'm doing God's will by helping someone else fulfill God's will, you know, and, and it's just, it's just neat. It's just neat to see the positive response I'm getting. Yeah. Tell me if a person becomes involved in the aftermath ministry, what you will have them do? Well, um, you know, it, it's, it's not just the aftermath hospitality of handing out snacks. I have other opportunities for the food ministry you know um, I think a lot of people uh, about a month and a half ago remember I did um, 
chicken fajita tacos and breakfast tacos. You know, we, I had 10 people at every mass either making tacos or handing them out. We made 2,300 tacos that weekend. It was phenomenal. You know, I have people whenever we were at the height before COVID, we were doing the pancake breakfast. The men's club was doing the pancake breakfast. And then we would do hot dogs and hamburgers and, and pizzas. And, but that got shut down. But um, I, I've got a couple of things coming up real soon. Mardi Gras, I'm going to have gumbo to go for the Mardi Gras. And then also Lent is right around the corner. So I'm going to be spearheading with Jim Burke and the men's club um, Friday Lenten fish fries. And that's going to be a to-go thing because, you know, that's the only way I can try to keep people engaged. And, and, and that in my ministry, we've got to continue to do that, and, but it's got to be in a to-go situation. Yeah. Okay, so tell me also, let's go back then um, to, and I know you said that it's, your ministry is, is, is more than just the aftermath ministry, but um, when I ask this question, I want to ask it for all those people who want to take advantage of the, uh, the opportunity to advertise something that they had going on, which is on the plaza. How do people um, uh, go about getting uh, what they're doing, uh, getting a table uh, out, out on the plaza? Well, you would contact me. You would contact me, uh, and and um, I would I would bring it up at our weekly communication meetings that uh, with Father Pat or uh, ask Father Pat or Rena, you know, if this is possible, and. Uh, yeah, but you would contact me. Just like this weekend, we've got, um, who do I have this weekend? I've got Frashadi High School out on the plaza this weekend uh, because it's the start of, of Catholic School Week. We have the AM 1430 radio station, um, and, I, and I don't know the call symbols for it, but they're going to be out there. And then also, it's going to be a start of a clothing drive um, that we're going to be having a clothing um, closet that uh, uh, some of our parishioners are starting. They're going to be out on the plaza. So, but anybody that wants to, you know, have a table out there, they, they, they have to contact me. Okay. Yes, yes. One final question. I want to go back to uh, what you mentioned earlier before the pandemic. You say that you were ordering 50 dozen donuts um, every Sunday? Every did, Sunday. Did that go to no dozen donuts? I mean, did you just completely cancel that order every week? Yep, 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 that, yep. Could, didn't do it at all because, you know, the diocese said, you know, no meetings, no, no food. So yes, sir, I, everything went away, you know, for months, for months. And I so- now the ripple economic effect uh, of this pandemic there's a there's a little piece of it right there it's just staggering so yep yep uh, i'm sure that it was it, it, and and but it's so nice to see people wanting to get back to normal it's oh, so it's so nice to see that you know people are stepping up gary i want to help you know and that that's that's cool that's cool gary don't you ever get back to normal i like you just the way you are <laughs> Uh, I won't change. I'll always be me. And whenever you're around me, I'll always have my little red boom box with the 70s music. That's for sure. Hey, we, need to, uh, we need to get together and listen to some Guy Clark or something. Yep, yep. I appreciate your time, uh, Gary. Uh, stay well and say hi to Mrs. Durker. Yep. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very much. And thanks to everybody at church. We'll put every, uh, everyone will put Gary's uh, email address in the uh, flock note today. So in case you want to get involved, you can give him a call or you can call Donna at the office. So thanks, uh, Gary. We'll talk to you soon, bud. All right, man. Bye-bye.